Hello, in this video we're going to level up our live streams on a MacBook Pro. A MacBook Pro. Better roll the titles. Hello, my name is Matthew Hughes, the king of video, and in this video I'm going to tell you how to level up your live streams with a MacBook Pro. But before you do that, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell to be notified every time I publish a new video. So I know a lot of people with their MacBook Pros are getting started with live streams and they're using the built-in camera on a MacBook. Now I'll tell you for sure, I don't wanna say the word hate, but I dislike, no, let's go hate, 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 double hate. If you get the film reference, stick it in the comments and I'll love you forever. But let's say that I dislike the MacBook Pro camera because in reality, it's a little bit of a poor camera. If you wanna find some other good examples, go and look around my channel. There's plenty of times I talk about good cameras and the best ones to use. Even the C920, the Logitech C920 webcam is better than the MacBook Pro camera. However, even though we are saying that it's not the best camera, there are some great tips that I'm gonna give you right now to make the best use of the camera if you don't want to make the investment just yet. So. Tip number one is all about the position of the camera. This is one of the first things I see people go wrong with, and that's simply because they are looking down at the camera. So naturally, if it's a laptop, the reason it's called a laptop is it sits on your lap, right? So you're looking down at the camera because it's on your laps, it's on your knees, and, and you therefore, you're positioned to look down the camera, but it's a dominant position. And for the viewer, it's really unsettling, not to mention the fact that they can see right up your nostrils and they get a good nostril hair view, which is never something that you want to show people, right? So the, the best way to do, to, to um, change this view is to get something like a, a MacBook stand. You can get these little stands on Amazon um, and they raise your MacBook up. And not only do they raise the MacBook up, up as well, they put it at a weird angle where the actual uh, screen is level with you. It's, a, it, it's weird because it looks weird when it's on your lap, but it's level with you. And then you can put it at eye level at the same time as well. You want to be talking to people at eye level, right? You want to be level with them because it's a much better, more um, appealing view for the user. So make sure you are eye level. Hey, and I've seen people use books, I've seen people use paint pots, all sorts of things to stick their MacBook on to make sure that it's at eye level, um, which I don't necessarily recommend, but at least they're making the effort to do it. Tip number two is all about lighting. Now, I reference lighting all the time because a lot of people want to upgrade stuff, and usually the first port of call is to upgrade the camera, but just getting some lighting with your MacBook will really help um, it will just help it not try so hard when it comes to lighting you. So there's a sensor in there and it wants light and it will try hard if there's no lighting around it. So getting some lighting, artificial lighting, something like that will be um, will be good for you. And hey, I've got the uh, gear guide in the comments below so you can always grab the gear guide if you want to know about artificial lighting, it's free. Tip number three then for the MacBooks is to upgrade your audio. The built-in audio for MacBooks is pretty good actually. Uh, if you're quite close to the MacBook. If you're further away, then you do need some kind of external mic. But let's just say if you're close, yes, you can use a built-in. I would also recommend something like the Blue series of microphones. They're really great, Blue Yeti, Blue Snowball, that kind of thing. If you're further away, you want to use something like the Rode Wireless Go. It means you can use the camera and you can be standing away from the camera, but a Rode Wireless Go will give you like the sound as if you're standing next to it. And actually, you know, most people will forgive a bit of a dodgy camera quality, but they'll never forgive dodgy sound, right? So you should always make sure you've got really, really great sound. Tip number four is just about using software. So uh, one of the great things about the MacBook Pro is that there's some software that I absolutely love called Ecamm. Uh, Ecamm Live it's called actually. And the reason I love it is because it's only for MacBooks, so I can only really ever recommend it for Macs. Um, but it's just fantastic. You can bring in overlays, you can bring in external devices. One of the great things about Ecamm that, that I just think is amazing is you can plug in your iPhone straight into your laptop and it appears as another camera. So if you ever wanted to do demos with a an iPhone, then using Ecamm is your best friend because you can just have it side by side. You can do picture in picture, uh, really, really great. And it's, it's top quality as well. It's a bit like if you go on your iPhone and press screen record and you get that nice uh, full recording of that. 
Tip number five, and probably the most important tip I could give any MacBook user. It's one tip, it's gonna change your life. I promise you it will change your life. And that's because everybody forgets this, but it makes the biggest difference. And it is to clean your lens. That's it, clean your lens. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen people on a MacBook, because you've got to remember, when you're opening your MacBook, you're pressing against the lens with your oily fingers, right? So what happens is your lens just gets dirty. So even, I do this every time, I get the, <laughs> I would say get something clever to clean your lens, but I just do this, put my thumb up against it and rub my lens. Honestly, the difference it makes is unbelievable. And I can see and I can tell when I see somebody who's got a dirty lens, I can see it in the shop because it's so bad. So clean your lens, tip number five, it will change your world. If you remember that forever, then I've done my job. <laughs> okay, clean your lens. And that's it, five tips to make your MacBook live streams much, much better than they were already. Now, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever I publish a new video.